historic moments. Excellency, Minister Mifzoyan, Mr. President, Madam President of the Assembly of State Parties, Prosecutor, Deputy Prosecutor, Registrar, Your Excellencies, Your Honours, Ladies and Gentlemen. Welcome to the ICC for such an occasion, the welcoming ceremony for the Republic of Armenia. Please be advised that interpretation is provided during the ceremony. Channel 1 is for English, Channel 2 for French. The ceremony will commence with the remarks of President Kovmansky. You can take the floor. <laughs> Your Excellency Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Armenia, Madam President of the Assembly of State Parties, to the Rome Statutes, dear judges, Mr. Prosecutor, Mr. Register, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure to address you today as we gather to formally welcome the Republic of uh, Armenia to the International uh, Criminal Court as the newest state party to the Rome Statute. Armenia ratified the Rome Statutes on the 14th of November last year, and in accordance with Article 126 of the Rome Statute, the treaty enters into force for Armenia one week ago on the 1st of February 2024. This brings the number of state parties to the Rome Statute to 124. Thank you, Albania. Thank you for making this court stronger. And thank you for showing an example to all those who have not yet joined the Rome Statute. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Armenia's ratification to the Rome Statute is a significant decision. It is indeed a brave decision. And this is the right decision. Armenia has now joined the community of states committed to the notion of the most serious crimes of concerns the international community as a whole must be answered with justice. That is the essence of the Rome Statute. The purpose of the ICC is to help put an end to impunity and to contribute to the prevention of future crimes. But the ICC is only as strong as the commitment of international communi community to, to its mandate. That commitment is built step by step, brick by brick. I am grateful to the Republic of Romania for adding its own brick to the permanent pillar of international criminal justice that the ICC is. Ratification, however, is not the end of the road. On the contrary, now Armenia can take full part in the work of the Assembly of State Parties. It also know now has the, the obligation to cooperate fully with the ICC in accordance with the provisions of the Rome Statute and to participate in the financing the court's regular budget. There are also further steps that follow after ratification, notably the national implementation of the Rome Statute to ensure compliance with the Article 88 of the Statute, as well as to enable the prosecution of Rome statute crimes in the country's own courts, if necessary. We also urge all state parties to join the agreement of the privileges and immunities of the ICC, which is essential for smooth cooperation. I am happy to note that the authorities of Armenia 
seems to be well aware of these different aspects of what it means to be an ICC <coughs> state party. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope other countries will follow the Armenia's footsteps to join the Rome Statute. Universal ratification of the Rome Statute must remain our goal, even if the road to it is difficult. Ultimately, ratification is, of course, every country's sovereign decision, but it does not mean we cannot and should not spread <coughs> awareness about the Rome Statute and why we believe all states should join it, for their own benefit and for the benefit for their own humanity. The court will continue to do what it can to engage with those considering ratification at session to make sure the correct information about the ICC reaches the right people. And we will be happy to continue cooperation with the leadership of the assembly with civil society, with state parties and other stakeholders to advance that common cause. Your Excellency, Minister Mizuyan, I once more welcome the Republic of Armenia to the ICC. This is now <laughs> your court, and as much as is the court of the other 123 state parties. As my mandate at the court is coming to end very soon, I will not be around myself too much longer, but I am sure everyone at the ICC will remain fully committed to working with Armenia to upload the court's mandate and to strengthen the global system of international criminal justice. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Madam President of the Assembly of State Parties, you have the floor. Your Excellency, uh, Minister for Foreign Affairs of Armenia, President of the International Criminal Court, Judges of the Court, <coughs> Mr. Prosecutor, Mr. Registrar, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to have His Excellency Mr. Ararat Mirzoyan, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Armenia, with us today. This ceremony, which brings us together this morning on 8th of February 2024, marks the entry into force of the Rome Statute for our new state party, Armenia, which deposited its instrument of ratification 14th November last year thereby becoming the 124th state party. Armenia's ratification of the Rome Statute reaffirms our shared commitment the noble idea, to the noble ideals and principles underlying the International Criminal Court. The ratification by Armenia as the 19th state party from the Eastern European region and the second from the Caucasus region is another important step in the quest for the universality of the statute. We hope that it will be pave the way for other countries in the region and beyond who, by joining the Rome Statute system, will strengthen the International Criminal Court in its fight against impunity for the perpetrators of the most uh, serious crimes. We now invite Armenia to continue fully incorporating the Rome Statute into its national legislation and the Assembly, including through its complementarity platform and its partners, stands ready to support Armenia with this work. We would also like to invite Armenia to sign the agreement on the privileges and immunities of the court. And in terms of our cooperation, this agreement provides additional protection to the court and to all those participating in its work. And as such, it is of critical importance to the effectiveness of the ICC. To conclude, I would like once again, on behalf of the Assembly of States Parties, to congratulate and warmly welcome Armenia to the ICC family. I am certain Armenia will become an active state party in the implementation of the Rome Statute and 
in the pursuit of universality and cooperation. Thank you. Minister, the floor is yours. Honorable President of the Court, Madam President of the Assembly, Excellencies, Mr. Prosecutor, Registrar, Judges, Deputy Prosecutors, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. In 1998, the international community made a historic decision to put an end to the most serious international crimes by adopting, uh, adopting the Rome Statute. In 2023, Armenia ratified the Rome Statute with a sincere belief in its high power to eliminate the most serious crimes and end the impunity. On the 1st of February, the Rome Statute entered into force for Armenia, a fundamentally important occasion that brings us here today. I'm grateful from each of you for sharing this special day with us. The Nuremberg Tribunal stated that it's time, I'm quoting, the crimes against international law are committed by men, not abstract entities, and only by punishing individuals who commit such crimes can the provisions uh, of the international law be enforced, end of quote. As we embark on this journey, let us embrace the responsibility that comes with ensuring that no one is above the law. Today, the International Criminal Court stands as a bastion against the horrors of genocide, war crimes, crimes against humanity, and the crimes of aggression. In this regard, Armenia's consistent cooperative approach to the ICC is based on the following major objectives. Preventing the most serious crimes which are of concern to the international community as a whole. Strengthening the rule of law in the international community achieving more universality of the ICC. Armenia believes that it is extremely important to establish an international judicial system which ensures punishment for persons who have committed genocide and other serious crimes. For decades, Armenia has been an initiator and pioneer in the processes of prevention and condemnation of the crime of, the geno of genocide, both within the framework of the United Nations and other international organizations and forums long before acceding to the International Criminal Court. ICC's role in the prevention and ensuring fair and impartial justice, justice process for a peaceful resolution of conflicts is significant. Unfortunately, in our region, we were confronted not only by complete unwillingness to resolve the issue by peaceful means, but also with a clear intent to prolifer proliferate war, hatred, and terror. Continued aggressions against the Republic of Armenia and occupation of our sovereign territories, heinous atrocity crimes perpetrated against Armenians, ethnic cleansing of Nagorno-Karabakh, as a result of which over 100,000 Armenians had to escape their homes to find shelter in Armenia, had devastating humanitarian consequences and continue to pose imminent risks for our region. In this context, we are convinced that the Rome Statute, among other mechanisms, has a real potential to prevent any further escalation and atrocities, becoming a milestone towards stability and sustainable peace in our region. Ladies and gentlemen, we highlight the court's important role for delivering justice to victims of unimaginable atrocities, giving them a voice by enabling them to participate in its proceedings, providing assistance and awarding reparations. There is no doubt that the Rome Statute and the ICC in the quest for accountability have contributed greatly to the effective functioning of the international criminal justice system. Today, let us celebrate not only Armenia's commitment, but also the shared vision of a world where justice prevails and the dignity of every individual is protected. As a new state party to the Rome Statute, Armenia will be an active member of the court and will significantly contribute to the works of the assembly of the state parties. Together, we move forward in solidarity, bound by ideals of the Rome Statute, as we strive for a future defined by fairness, impunity, and the rule of law. Thank you.